make it work. Um, I'm not saying this is the be all end all. I'm just saying in a camp situation like this, where I don't know the girls very well, I don't know what their front layout quality is like. I made everybody do a pipe open just so I can make sure we had enough rotation. I, don't want, I didn't want to jar any backs. Um, yeah. So that's how we did, we did pipe open, pipe open half, pipe open full, so on, and so pipe open. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, a little more, a little more dynamic open. Can you try one more? That was actually a really good front layout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a pipe, so literally pipe open. Yeah. Now, when we open, you want to stop about 10 degrees short of starting to arch. Don't let them open up to the arch position. And the, what that does, it just helps facilitate the twist. Okay, can you do a half for me? Pipe, open, half. Arms start up and then just ever so slightly down to the side. <coughs> you don't need to do a lot for a half turn. Arms up, beautiful. So it's just, it was, she didn't, she doesn't have to get in this deep diver's pipe. She just had to go pipe open, okay? Just to initiate the turn. It was beautiful, thank you. Okay, now can you do a front full for me? It's a nice, easy pipe front full twist. Beautiful, okay? Now, then you just keep adding the half turns once, um, coaches, once you're satisfied, they've got their orientation. Once you're satisfied, their trajectory is correct. So if you could do a pipe open full jump half. This is more for me than it is for her, because I know she knows how to do it, but like if I had somebody brand new, I would want to make sure that they landed straight up and down, the body tension was tight enough that they could just rebound, not be traveling, not be running out, losing body tension. Yeah, good. It's a little long, or not too bad, but her body tension is what I really like. When she landed, she just rebounded off the mat. This is a pretty soggy mat, so her body needed to be quite tight. Okay. I'm going to add another half because she's ready. Take it up. Take it up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Now, did anybody notice when she landed, what happened? Jumped a bit back, so she had a little bit of horizontal momentum left over. So I would like her to shorten that up and go about that much higher. Okay, getting her ready for her double twist. All right? Now, this is a one and a half twist. In trampoline terminology, it's called a Rudy or a Rudolph. So coaches, when I we say, let's do Rudy's, you know what they are. Okay, now you know. All right, we're going to do a front, high, kick out, one and a half. Just what you just did, just a little bit higher. And rebound, okay. We do have a little bit of backward momentum. Um, Normally, I would make sure that that was stopped before I had her do a double, but I already know she can do a double. She just did it the first time today, or has she been doing it? Um, it's the first time it's That's just on trend. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, she's had some front twisting training, uh, so I, I trust her to go. If it was a girl who had never done a front double twist before, I wouldn't let them go on coaches until she could do a Rudy, a front one and a half, side body rebound, like she did on her front full rebound. So I'm pretty much of a stickler for mastering things before you move on, all right? Anyway, we're gonna try a front double because <coughs> this is the next step. All right, nice and easy. Yeah. And the next step for her is a rebound, half, and that's called a round off. Okay, anyway, it's a funny name, but it's trampoline terminology. So she's next, she's gonna master this front double, twist, and then she's gonna start adding 
another half turn, and that's an E element on floor. And she could connect it to things and get all kinds of bonuses for that. So she's gonna, I'm excited for her front twisting combinations that we can add. All right, so thank you very much.